What's up you guys, everything's out of get here. This is a part two of one of two uh, series um, that I'm doing on raw uh, or barf as people like to call it, which is biologically appropriate raw food. Uh, it's it's like, man, all kibble basically is like, it's, it's, it's all different types of fast food. You can say, well, you know, I'm gonna eat healthy, stop eating that Whataburger, Sonic, and, and McDonald's, but you still eat that Taco Bell and Wendy's and Subway or what have you. And uh, so that's basically what that is, basically. And uh, a lot of people like have myths on dogs and a lot of different things about how the meat is bad for them. And you gotta understand that dogs come from uh, canines, dire wolves, before they were wolves, they were, I mean, well, after they were wolves, they, uh, they branched off into other wild species, wild dogs, and end up becoming domesticated. So you gotta understand, these dogs are predators. These canines, these domesticated dogs still have predators in them. Their body, their gut system runs just like the wild predecessors that they come from, which are canines and things like that. And uh, so with that being said, uh, we, you know, I present to you my feeding video on BARF. Uh, uh, the meal prep I do for my baby girl Hazel. She's an American pit bull terrier, ADBA dog, um, and uh, yeah, she's just my baby. That's my daughter. She's three. You know, I'm 19, no kids, so that's my daughter uh, for sure. I just want to give her the best. Uh, I already, you know, try to keep her on the best quality food that I can do and whatnot. So I'm just trying to give her the best quality care that I can myself. So without further ado, let's get into the raw feed. So uh, here I have some beef kidney this is everything that we're going to use for the prep this is beef kidney we have some uh beef feet cut up and you have some pork tails so uh and i have a little bit of uh ground beef uh, i'm not gonna go too heavy with that i really don't believe in ground beef as far as like raw feed and that's not like a staple as far as putting to the raw but uh in my belief but uh yeah man so quick like disclaimer man when it comes to this here raw man you have to understand that it's just like you if you're used to eating this type of way your body is going to react different when it's automatically going cold turkey no more junk food and now it's real deal good quality stuff going in your body your body has to adapt to it it has to get ready for it so it goes the same just when it comes to dogs man when it comes to raw this is very vital some people have like dogs with runny poop and poops coming out diarrhea like and all those things and you know it's a little gross to talk about but it's facts and if you want to give your dog a, a whole biologically appropriate raw meal you have to prep it accordingly you have to you can't just throw your dog a piece of steak or anything like that you have to you know really prep a whole beneficial meal for everything hit every corner every keystone to make sure that what you're replacing with that kibble and giving it raw is is actually doing its job. You're not just doing it just to be doing it and wasting money because it is pretty expensive, I'll say, when it comes to feeding these. So we're just going to chop this here kidney up. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of ground beef. Like I said, it's still a little frozen, so I'm going to chop that up in little pieces. And we're going to bag it up. So, yeah, I'm going to show so you that. I forgot to add, uh, I got some chicken feet also. We're going to throw that in there with the uh, milk prep. And uh, so we got some baggies, little baggies. Heck, this probably won't even all fit in there. But uh, so chicken, like, man, chickens... Not just feet, but just all chicken, whole chicken, corner chins, anything. Uh, white meat, period. Fish is real easy on a dog's stomach when they're starting onto the raw. So I take up if you're going to get in the raw, start with a white meat, chicken preferably. But don't make it a staple because, like I said, these guys are, uh, these guys are uh, predators. They eat land-based animals. That's red meat animals, so they're used to that. Uh, when it comes to the most abundant thing I have here, which is the beef kidney, it's the most abundant, like I said, but it's not what's going to be given to the most by any means. Organ meat is a very, very rich meat. It's, it's rich for us, it's rich for humans, and rich for dogs. Meaning that, you know, too much in excess, it could mess your stomach up, mess your gut load up, diarrhea for days. Uh, and, it, you know, it just can, can really mess you up. But it's very good for you, of course. So you got to very, like, vary in portion. Um all your meats out how how much you're going to be giving per bowl how much and uh you can do you know feed to maintain weight you can do it to make a dog leaner or you can do it to make a dog fatter whatever however you want to do it's your preference i just help it to maintain my dog's weight you know when she eats this she gets the whole bowl she doesn't get kibble with it now that i'm on a complete raw diet so yeah we're just going to start prepping this all up i'm going to show you guys how this looks it's already so got all our uh meal preps bagged up we have a five day instead of a seven. That's cool, no problem. I'll go get more as needed. We got a couple left. Like I said, this is your excess. This is what you want to be careful with when you're feeding with, especially when it, it comes to dogs that 
you know, they're not really used to this raw feeding. Uh, this is what we're left with for my baby girl's food tonight. That's her whole portion. We got two pork tails right there. Uh, we have the cow bone. We have the chicken foot, one chicken foot, another little bit of the cow hoof. And that's uh, more fatty than anything. So when it comes to this meal prep, um, you want to have 80% uh, lean meat or meat. And you want to have 10% uh, bone content and 10% organ meat or organ meat and like your, um, your, your popsicle that I had in the last video. You add that in there too, all that good stuff. And we're gonna definitely add popsicles as needed. The popsicles will come with every single meal as I pull them out to prep and whatnot. And uh, that's how that'll work. And uh, so we're just gonna put up the rest of this here meat, clean up our mess, and then we're gonna show you what, what it's looking All right, like. So here's our finished product. Uh, this is what we have left. This is the whole meal prep. This is what goes into it. You usually have one more chicken foot, but I kinda, when I first got the chicken feet, gave Hazel two of them. Uh, but so anyways, this is what she's gonna get fed tonight. This is all she's gonna get fed tonight. And uh, it comes with, these are the ugly ones. This is from yesterday's video. These are real pretty ones, the dog popsicles. If you haven't watched that video, go check it out for sure. And we're just gonna basically do this whole, you know, just dump it all in there. Like I said, you wanna 80% uh, meat and 10% uh, bone, 10% uh, organ, and, and uh, you know, your extra power booster things. And uh, you know, you just feed according to dog's weight, how much they'll really need for their one sitting. I'm gonna give the pretty, I'm gonna give the pretty power booster to her. That's, that's Instagram worthy right there. I can post that right there. So uh, yeah, man, you guys, man, if you like this video, you like this series, you want me to keep doing stuff like this, man, just comment, share, subscribe, man. Let people know, man. Barf, biologically appropriate raw food. Before I get out of here, I want you to let you guys know. Do your research before you jump into it. Um, definitely don't just just go willy-nilly. Uh, this is just me doing it on my own. This is solely all on my own, going to my local uh, feed store. <laughs> That's my mom in the background, going to the local feed store. And um, yeah, this is just me doing it all on my own. I do know some good, uh, very reputable people who sell these good quality meats and whatnot for dogs. Uh, if you want those people's information and whatnot, whatnot like that, uh, just get at me personally, man. Leave a comment, man. So uh, if you like this video, leave a thumbs up, man. Thank you guys so much for the port. Exotic Yay. Hey, I'm out.